What's going down? Doing great. You guys can call me Bo. Bo. Hi, Bo. Bo. I'm calling you Bo. Thank you. Bo. That's great. You look exhausted. Uh-uh. We're okay, Bo. Wait up. <coughs> I'm happy. Just a tad? No. Okay. Well, that's good, because we're all good. There's a very short line out there. And so. you've waited a long time, and you've got our attention right now. Wonderful. So I'll just go ahead and kick it off. That work? Don't you want to just give me a short 10-second... Sure. Why you're here? Why do you think you're the next American Idol? Um, well, I think that American Idol could really use a kick of some some rock, some blues, yeah. some soul. You know, yeah. one thing that we uh, haven't really seen is somebody that gets up there and you know puts out the vibe of, of a of a rock star. John Stevens. <laughs> oh, Simon, stop it. Sure. Stop it. You know, I've seen plenty of people that were great on Amer American Idol, so I I could agree with you there. I'm See, kidding. He's optimistic. Yeah, yeah, come on. You know what? Let him have it, dude. You're, I like your spirit. So, what are you singing? I'm going to be uh, singing a song called In a Dream. By? It's by Badlands. It's okay. an older group. Okay. Badlands. Yes, sir. When I'm down, I'm feeling low, and confusions touch my soul. Oh, how I need. Some place where I can hide away. So let me fall within your arms, melt away this cold of fear. Cause all I need is to hold you tonight. Thank you. Can I hear 20 seconds of another song? Another sure. 20 song, something alone. <clears throat> Yeah, what's your second joint, man? What's your yeah, second well, joint? Oh, I'll sing my favorite one. Um, Whipping Post by the Almond Brothers? Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> I've been run down. Oh, I've been lied to. And I don't know why I've let that mean woman make me a fool. Because she took all my money. Yes. Brilliant. I, it's Brilliant. I was shocked that you sang Whipping Post. But that's one of my favorite good. songs. That's what I needed to hear. That's I needed good. to hear. I it like the first song as well. Bo, I think you're great. I like both. Yeah, I like both too. I think wow. you're great. Great, 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 great. You've got a great voice. Yes. Oh, yes. definitely. Yes, 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 Bo. Congratulations. Thank Welcome to Hollywood, Bo. Thank you very much. Well See done. you in Hollywood, baby. We appreciate Keep it real. your Keep unique energy and talent. It's a sheet, man. Okay, wonderful. We'll see you in Hollywood. Well done, Bo. Well done. That's the difference of someone who's lived life a little bit. Excited. Um, I want to, you know, first of all, I wouldn't be anywhere without without God, my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and my parents and my family. So. I'm very excited. You know, I've been doing uh, I've been doing music my whole life. I've been performing my whole life. Uh, I've had the opportunity to travel overseas and see your beautiful country of England and 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 to travel the world and do stuff. So. This is something that started out as, as kind of a joke, and you know I'm, I'm just at the cutoff age of, of 28, so it was really a dare that happened in two weeks. So from it, a dare to be standing here with a little yellow piece of paper is, is, is pretty cool. What does that little yellow piece of paper say? Uh, it says I'm going to uh, California, to LA, to Hollywood. So that's pretty cool. I've been there a few times, and uh, there's plenty of stuff to do. So I'm going to have fun. I'm stoked. I'm, I'm ecstatic. I'm not looking forward to calling my mother because I like to keep hearing in this ear. But uh, I know what's going to happen. She's going to be very excited. I know the folks back home are going to be excited. Thank you, America. And thank Simon and Paul and Randy. They were incredible. They really were. This has been the best experience I've ever had. My name is Bo Weiss. I'm from Birmingham, Alabama. And I manage a guitar store and play music. I've been performing since I was about eight years old and then doing this professionally, well I say professionally as in making money doing it. Pocket change here and there since I was a child, but 
but mainly uh, you know, since about 12, 13. You know, and uh, I love to play music, write songs, um, and perform. I'm inspired by uh, Jim Croce, James Taylor, a lot of the older rock, you know, Led Zeppelin, Allman Brothers. Uh, but I've also been influenced by Motown, and you know, my mother used to listen to a lot of uh, gospel music. So I've, uh, gospel music has always been an influence in my life, and now in my writing. Trying out for American Idol started out as uh, kind of a bet. Uh, two weeks before the auditions in Orlando, I was watching the news and they said they had upped the age to 28. And me being the grandfather that I am, you know, uh, I kind of called my mom up and was like, should I do it? Am I too old? I'm pushing 30. Am I too old to do this? And she said, no, you know, I, I, I bet you won't do it. I said, well, but I will. And now I'm sitting here. I can't believe it. Give you my word, I never in a million years thought I'd be sitting here today. Though. If I am the next American Idol, I would be happy to wear that hat after going through these auditions and seeing all these uh, wonderful singers. I wouldn't dare put myself in that seat because I've seen some great people. Um, I would love the opportunity to represent the United States as the American Idol though. Uh, it would be another step to a dream coming true. Hi, Carrie. Hello. Come on in. How you doing? Good. How are you? I'm good. Are you nervous? A little bit. Why? He's scary. <laughs> He's scary? Yeah. I know. I, you know. No, I'm not. Yeah. He is, though. He looks kind of weird, huh? No. He doesn't look weird, but he's scary? Yeah. <laughs> and he's really angry today, so you're going to be really good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Wait a minute. Don't take any notes. So you're 21 from uh, what part of uh, Oklahoma? Shakota. Shakota. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a very small town. It is a very small town. So tell us uh, anything interesting about yourself. I hear you played quarterback? Yes, for our Greek League football team. I was quarterback, believe it or not. Captain and quarterback. We wow. didn't win, but uh, it's for the touchdown. But you played hard. I did. All right, well, so they probably you... wouldn't want to tackle you, would they? No, it was, t it was flag football. A flag. What's that? I don't think I would have mind if it was tackle. Okay, do you mind if I ask you a personal question? Sure. Did you have something you shouldn't have had? Why? They said this was not... <laughs> no, 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 because somebody told me. I'm curious. Yes, I did. What? It just looked like a mole. <laughs> what was it? Seriously? Wow. Yes. Where was it? Right there. Well, why'd you get rid of it? Because um, it really just looked like a mole. Yeah. People, if I wear like a two-piece bathing suit, they'd ask me why it was. And I'd say it was a birthmark because it was, but I kind of got a little self-conscious of it. So I, I would have just moved it under my hand or something. <laughs> just occasionally. Yeah. Whatever. Mm. Uh, yeah, well, anyway, so what are you going to say? <laughs> All right, go ahead. Go for it. Turn down the lights. Turn down the bed. Turn down these voices inside my head. Lay down with me. Tell me no lies. Just hold me close. Don't patronize, don't patronize me, cause I can't make you love me if you don't, 
You can make your heart feel something that it won't hear in the dark. These final hours, I will lay down my heart. Okay, that was very good. Yeah. Very good, Carrie. Great voice, Very good. Man. Yeah, great. Who's your favorite singer? Who do you love? Um, actually, Martina McBride. Yeah, I could hear a little bit of that. Yeah, very good. Not just because she's a good singer, but because she seems like a very nice person. You did good. Tell me about your chicken thing you do. Oh, my gosh. Come on, clock for There's us. There's no Come secrets on. on this show, Carrie. Um, <laughs> I, can, I have the ability to cluck like a chicken. Okay, make it work. Come on, make it work. God, that was good. I could have just clucked my way into a marriage with Ronald Kennedy. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yeah, I clucked. Clucked, yes, clucked. yes. No, I said clucked. No, you yes. said clucked, don't worry. You said clucked, don't worry. There's Karen, ears I around think you're here. very good. And you know, um, I was saying to someone the other day, I'm surprised that we haven't found a good country singer in this competition yeah. yet. Uh, and I'm not a huge fan, but I'm just surprised. I think you're very good. Thank you. I think you should stay good at what you're doing as well. Randy? I think you're excellent too. I would work a little bit more on the emotion and the stage presence, just a little bit, because you got it vocally. I mean, you can do your thing. You worked it out. Yes, sir. Definitely. Carry you through to the next round. Welcome next to round. Hollywood, girl. Yeah. What do I do you go outside. Yeah. And Thank you so much. Bye, Scream. Watching out for me. <gasps> what happened in that? Um, they told me I was really good. Yeah, I, I threw out my fishing line, and they they liked it. They liked the bait, I guess. <laughs> I got them. Yeah. What are you gonna do when you get to Hollywood? You miss your animals? What what do you think? What do you expect in Hollywood? Oh, of course I'm gonna miss my animals. But my dad'll let me talk to him on the phone every night. I'm so excited. This is really amazing. What do you expect from Hollywood? What are you expecting it to be like? I have no idea. I have no, all I know is what I've seen on TV. <laughs> I don't know what to expect out of Hollywood at all. You going on board a plane? What's that going to be like for you? Probably being on a plane will be terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. Okay. It's worth it. It's worth it. I've never been on a plane before, and this country girl is going to Hollywood. Oh, yeah.